Oh, welcome to Real Estate TV, everyone. Look at that. How lucky are we to have a view like that in the hub of our city, right in the centre. Amazing. And look at my hat. It's a Pokemon beanie. I got that in town yesterday. A lady was crocheting the city square and I bought it off her. Brilliant. I'm going Pokemon going today because of my beanie. Love it. Real estate program. What do we do? We check out real estate. You could be buying, selling, renovating. We look into everything. And the advice we give is by professionals involved right within the game. I'm Pete Roast on a host of show. I know a fair bit about real estate now, but I'm here to learn some more with you today. Wonderful Alan, here's at the Moravillo Estate. This is beautiful. Best way is to come up here and feel the place, Alan. Come up and have a look for yourself. Look at what we've got to offer. Fantastic views. It's a really special place to come. Got you, yes, yes! Oh, Sarah's giving us an update on the Nora Wilson development called The Precinct. It's in Mount Pleasant. Now, do you know when the project might be completed? Well, we've already started the piling works on site. Pretty well on target to be finished by the end of 2018. Oh, and thanks to the HIA, Alan is finding out a fantastic way to add space to your home, Summit Granny Flat. Brilliant. We've been building homes throughout WA for over 35 years, so we're bringing that wealth of knowledge and experience to every granny flat that we build. Welcome everyone to Real Estate TV. Pokemon Go! I'm going to spend the program today playing with my Pokemon Go on the beautiful banks of our wonderful Swan River. And Sarah, whoa, she's at the precinct for Nora Wilson with an amazing offer. This is incredible. If you're looking for an exclusive apartment in one of Perth's premier locations, then you can't go past the precinct. John, The Precinct was on the show earlier in the year when you launched it. How is development progressing now? We're absolutely blown away by the market response to our launch. We have sold in excess of $60 million worth of product in the building. Food and beverage downstairs sold out in the first two weeks, so it's been absolutely incredible. Now, if sales are going so well, is there any left? Yes, we have a, a range of one bedders, two bedders, three bedders, and we've got an amazing product on the top of the building called our Sky Homes product which comes with its own private Sky Lounge for the exclusive use of only the Sky Home residences. Very unique to Perth and an absolutely amazing product. John, what would you say is the secret to the success of the sales of the precinct so far? Number one is always location, location, location when it comes to property. Here in Applecross Mount Pleasant area, we're surrounded by the beautiful Swan Canning Rivers. We've got the leafy outlook of the Mount Pleasant and Applecross suburbs. Just doesn't get any better than this. And there's so much to do within the precinct itself. We've got the 11 food and beverage outlets downstairs. We've even designed a dumbwaiter in the building so you can actually order food to the swimming pool deck, to your apartment and to the Sky Lounge on the roof of the building as well. So it's hotel living at its best. Now, do you know when the project might be completed? Well, we've already started the piling works on site. So the piling works is complete. We're ready to start excavation in the new year and we're pretty well on target to be finished by the end of 2018. That's so soon. I can't wait to see the finished product. Oh, look, can't wait to have you back and we'll run the show again when we're finished. Marcus, your company heads up sales at the precinct. You've got a really unique offer going right now. We have. It's been really exciting, actually. So um, we decided that if you buy a one-bedroom off of us, you get a BMW scooter. If you buy a two-bedroom off of us, you get a one-series BMW. And if you buy a three-bedroom off us, you get a BMW three-series off of us. That's an incredible offer. BMW is such a great car. It's worked out really well. It just says luxury and style, and, and we feel that that's what our apartments say. Is there a time limit? There is. You have to put the offer on the apartment before the end of October. 2016. To find out how to get yourself an amazing luxurious apartment at the precinct and a BMW, go to therealestateco.com.au. Moravillo Estate is a beautiful part of the world. 
It's hard to believe, but we're just a 60-minute drive from the Perth CBD, so we're far enough away to enjoy the tranquility and serenity of the country, and yet close enough to everything we'll ever need. Steve, how are you? Hi, Al. Welcome to Moravilla. Thank you very much. Now, tell me about this beautiful place. How did it come about? John Court's had it in the family for 52 years, Alan, and he's just decided now to share it, the lifestyle with some new neighbours. So it's been, what, 12 months or something? Yeah, just a little over 12 months now since the first stage release. 63 lots in that first stage all sold out. Kidding. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? So I guess there's stage two. Absolutely. Stage two, we've just finished the construction of stage two. The fencing's just going in as we speak. People are moving in, houses being built now, a lovely little community being established, young families right through to some retirees. And I'll be knocked out, the quality of the housing here is just sensational. Very good housing, yes. Uh, the country style of housing, um, built on a nice property, overlooking some beautiful views. Now, we need to know about the amenities. I mean, everything's here, isn't it? Absolutely. Sealed roads, underground power, scheme water's a big aspect in a rural residential subdivision, Alan. Telecommunications, it's great. I love the bitumized road there. They're made to look like a country road, and yet it is all sealed. It's fantastic. Yeah, we've done that deliberately, Alan, just to make it look like it's a country lifestyle. And fencing? You, you guys supply all the fencing, don't you? Put the uniform fencing on each of the blocks. Not intrusive fencing, but just uniform so that it looks the same right throughout the estate, and that keeps the value of it up for people. Sure. And I guess we're right in the heart of the Avon Valley. Right in between the historic towns of Gidjiganup, 2J, Northam and York, right there in the middle. Well, I'm going to have a walk around. Can you make yourself available and come back and talk to us? Absolutely. So go to moravilloestate.com.au. We'll be back a little later on in the show. Welcome back to Real Estate TV. I've just been to the gym, but go on, get day, 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 day. Ha <laughs> That's mature. Uh, here's Ellen. He's with the wonderful John DeLavis from our premium partners, HIA and Love and Mode. Does your home feel like it's getting smaller? Do you wish you had four bedrooms instead of three? Well, you could undertake renovations or perhaps sell your home and buy a bigger one. Or you could avoid all that hassle by simply thinking outside the box. John, there must be a, a way for families to get more space in their home without a lot of trouble. Yeah, there is, Alan. But firstly, what we've seen is an increase to our ageing population in Australia and also children staying in the home longer. So really, we need housing options within community. And ancillary accommodation, or what's commonly termed as granny flats, increase to that type of dwelling has really been required. And I think uh, you know, just providing the options for consumers to either look after their family members living close to the dwelling or assist with their children growing up and staying close to the family unit as well. And I think with some of the changes that have been made recently, it just provides more options, which I think is what WA needs in terms of getting more diversity of housing right through the community. And isn't that a very big and protracted affair to, to do that sort of thing? Look, it can be, but you need to go to specialists and speak to specialists. And HA members uh, such as Summit Homes, who you were catching up with later on in the show, to talk about their business. The important thing, as we've always said, is to speak to your builder, particularly to your HA member, and get all the relevant advice that you need, and they'll assist you with the process from start right through to finish. So by putting a granny flat in your backyard, you get to keep your existing home, which is important, yep. and you have a very cost-effective solution to getting more space. Oh, look, you do. I think what it does, as you say is it provides great options for the consumer and the state government through the Department of Planning have made some significant changes to the R codes to assist consumers in achieving this and, and a couple of the major reforms that we saw in 2013 was removing the requirement of the person in that granny flat to be the, the relative of the principal homeowner and also we've seen an increase in the floor space within the, the granny flat as well so I think the state government is really doing its bit to encourage you know, granny flats and supporting the, the community get greater diversity of housing within WA. Thanks John, always good to talk to you. Thanks Alan. So if you'd like to put a summit granny flat in your backyard, join us a little later in the show when we'll tell you exactly how to do it. In the meantime, go to hia.com.au and remember, with HIA, you're in good hands. Go to the Flexico storage and flooring competition. Remember to get involved. You take a photograph of your dirty manky garage and you go to our website, realestatetv.com.au and you upload that photograph onto that website and you're in the running. It's that simple.
Well, welcome back to more of Villa Estate. Steve, this is just perfect. Sitting up here, plenty of space, can't hear any traffic, the odd bird in the distance, and you can just sit up here watching the weather roll through. It's just fantastic. The silence is deafening, isn't it? <laughs> it is. So what sort of people are enjoying the lifestyle up here? People are leaving the hustle and bustle of the city and they're buying into a country lifestyle here, Alan. From young families through to retirees, the families are looking for a bit more space for the kids to grow up in and play around well, I've in. I've certainly got that. Absolutely. So uh, what other uh, facilities and amenities and uh, attractions are in the area? Yeah, we're right in the middle of the Avon Valley and the historic towns of Gidjiganup, 2J, York, Northam, great places to visit. There's a lovely little pie shop down the road and I've noticed a couple of nice hotels as well. And restaurants and wineries. So it's all there in the Avon Valley. It's a hidden gem. What about the other things we need? Um, schooling and medical facilities? Yeah, schools close by are very good. The primary school's just down the road, the high school's the bus there um, every day so it's a great place to bring the family absolutely so you can get away from it all if you want to but everything you need is, right is close at hand it really is fantastic we'll be back a little later on to talk about if you don't mind money absolutely in the meantime go to moravilloestate.com.au after the break we're back with the wonderful alan at moravillo estate we'll see you then Welcome back to the homestead at the beautiful Moravillo Estate in the heart of the Avon Valley. Steve, what's left? Get in quick, Alan. Stage one has sold out completely, 63 lots all gone. Stage two, just been released, 55 lots left, but lots of interest. And as we mentioned earlier in the show, Steve, all the amenities are here, aren't they? Communication, water, power. Yeah, all there. Scheme water, underground power, telecommunications, ADSL 2 plus pretty quick for a rural residential site. Absolutely fantastic. And I guess the main thing we'll take away today, it's lifestyle, isn't it? It's that rare and achievable lifestyle that we don't have uh, in the city anymore. Exactly what we're trying to experience here, Alan. Relaxed lifestyle, out of the hustle and bustle of the city and picking up on that country feel. Sure. So how do we find out more? Best way is to come up here and feel the place, Alan. Come up and have a look for yourself. Look at what we've got to offer. Fantastic views. It's a really special place to come. Take the trip up with the family. It's only an hour out of the city and get here and have a look. We're open on weekends with the sales office from 2 to 4 and on Wednesdays from 10am to 4pm. There's plenty of information on the website but the best way to look at it is to experience it. Absolutely. Thanks for your invitation today, Stephen. Thanks for looking after us. A pleasure. Make sure you go to that website. It's moravilloestate.com.au. You won't be disappointed. Steve, cheers. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Now, I've always thought tidy home, tidy mind. And I think you guys will agree with me that when things are a bit cluttered, you can't get a lot done. But the great news is, whether you're looking to redesign your wardrobe, home office, or your kitchen, and get into a space that's been designed especially for you, there's one place to go, and that's Flexi. Flexi is your one-stop home storage solution and can design and create simply genius answers to all of your clutter banishing questions. See, the best bit is every Flexi project is a complete one-off, which means it's designed specifically for the space and the needs of each customer. Off the rack is a phrase Flexi just don't know the meaning of. To truly get the best use out of your kitchen, home office or wardrobe, it has to be designed just for you. How do they do it? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Walk into one of Flexi's locations, either north in Joondalup or south in Myree, and one of their design consultants will take you through the process of finding out what it is you're after and how much room and budget you have to work with. Plus, their design software can show you exactly how it's going to look before they even start building. Now, Ross, you guys are the experts in this. Tell me why someone needs a custom design job. Why is that important? Well, firstly, you'd like to see what it looks like before it goes in, so the computer will help you there. Secondly, the computer design also has the colours in there, so you can see the finished product in the colours. And thirdly, it's uniquely designed and built just for you and your area. We look at your needs, be it a Christmas tree, clothing, pots and pans, sporting equipment, school bags, eskies, 
We look at everything and make it fit. Craig, what are the benefits of a tidy home? Uh, well, I think the main benefit is uh, to organise your life. Everything has its place and there's a place for everything. That's very true. Now, what are the most common things customers are coming to you with? Well, one of the most common things is obviously price. People come to us and say that they haven't got much to spend, but that's the beauty of what we do. We've got a custom-made product, so no matter how little you've got to spend or how much you've got to spend, we've got something that will suit your budget. Great. If you're wondering exactly how Flexi manages to build all of their offices, wardrobes and kitchens, then you'll be happy to know that it's all made right here in WA by some of the best craftsmen and with the best quality materials you can find. So let's talk turnaround times because as we all know, renovations can be disruptive, but the guys here at Flexi run a pretty tight ship. So much so they can have your custom project finished and installed within just four weeks of you placing your order. That is amazing. So say goodbye to Clutter and say hello to Flexi and check out the whole range at flexi.com.au. If you're after some more room around the house, what about a granny flat? Summit Homes do some beauties. We'll check them out after the break. Welcome back to Real Estate TV. Now it's time to look at those granny flats, thanks to Summit Homes and the HIA. Oh, oh, oh no. This is a Pokemon wet spot. This is not good. I'm in a swamp. Earlier in the show, John Gelavis from the HIA spoke with me about granny flats and how popular they've become over the last few years, both with homeowners and investors alike. And Drew, these are great for people who want a little bit more space for the family or even as a rental property, yeah? Absolutely, Alan. So our main clientele, uh, those people looking for a space for their parents out the back on land that they already own. Also people moving out the back to let their kids and grandkids move in, but also investors who have that land available and want to add a second income stream from it. And from what I hear, this is a very affordable option. It certainly is, Alan. We've got one bedroom designs from 95,000 and two bedroom from 118,000. And they look fantastic. I mean, just looking around, you couldn't tell that this wasn't a traditionally built home. They've come a long way, haven't they? They certainly have come a long way and people's perceptions will really go out the window once they come and have a look through the display. It's going to have an external facade that people are familiar with, the rendered external finish eaves all around and a pitched roof, like the houses that you're used to. Once you step inside, it is just a small home. So Drew, we bought the granny flat, we walk in, what do we get? Internally, you're going to have floor coverings, window treatments, full internal external painting. It's truly ready for you to just move in, put your furniture and kick back. And Drew, what makes a summit granny flat different? It's the service that we offer to our clients. What we bring to the table is a fully complete granny flat, ready to move in. So what's the process? I guess it starts with a phone call to you, yeah? It certainly does. It's the best way to get the ball rolling. Give us a call. We're more than happy to have a chat with you about what your options are. We work with you through what you'd like and what you can actually build. Then we put all the paperwork together, do all the council approvals, site works, construction, and offer you that after build service as well. Well, Drew, thanks for showing us around the granny flat. So if you'd like to utilize the space in your backyard and have an affordable living space, go to summitgrannyflats.com.au or feel free to visit the Summit Granny Flats Display Showroom five days a week at 83 McCoy Street, Myre, or the new Manning Display just off the freeway at 94 Manning Road in Manning and experience one for yourself. Oh, I love a good floor. Oh, we've got a competition. Go to our website, realestatetv.com.au and then go to the competition page, click on it, upload a photograph of your dirty garage. That's right, your dirty garage. And then you might be in the running to win from FlexiCo Flooring and Storage, a brand new garage floor. You could do this on it. It feels good. This it is stunning, it isn't it? Looks like a different home almost. They've put a lot of work into this place. They, they definitely have. Now, Furniture Hire and Styling Australia, they uh, have done a perfect job, I think, in, with the colours and everything. Talk us through the choices. So we walk in at the entrance and we wanted to create a bit of a focal point. So you've got the artwork and some beautiful little accessories that complement each other. Now, this main living area is quite large, so they wanted to separate the spaces. Um, so they've used couches, but they're different couches with different textures that still complement each other. We've also tried 
tried to complement the current woods in the home. So we've used earthy oh, dining yeah. room tables and coffee tables throughout just to give a really nice flow throughout the home. Um, and I've got to mention, I like how you've got little touches of blue. Blue is a great choice of colour, isn't it? It is. It's a really calming colour. And again, we've used that throughout the home just to create a nice flow. Great. And how about the bedrooms as well? I mean, the beds look fantastic. The beds are great. They've put in double beds in each bedroom just to show how large the bedrooms are, as well as a bedside table. It almost looks bigger as well, because you know how before the rooms were big, but then you put a bed in there and it almost looks bigger. It's it crazy. Does. It, it That's what happens. Yeah, You have to put furniture in to really make the space pop and really give the space its full potential. If you're putting your house on the market and you want to present it as best as you possibly can, get in touch with the guys at Furniture Hire and Styling Australia. Their website is fhsa.com.au. Oh, and Kate, don't forget, while you're on there, you can book an appointment with one of their stylists to come out and give you a free appraisal. That's what I forgot about that. Hey, love the pillows. Oh, ha. <laughs> That's it. That's all I've got time for, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to head to our website. Fantastic site to look at. Amazing things for your home. Go to realestatetv.com.au. Follow the prompts. It's all there. Stay tuned on 7. Something fantastic is coming up. We'll see you next week. That's it. Got it. And that's a wrap.